Hey guys, welcome back. We're in the Deep Hot Forest. And again, Matt's trying to kill me and Tara. We're out here just trying to have a good time, get a little riding. And Matt's just trying to crank out some calorie burn. I don't even know what he's doing. But me and Tara are trying to just chill and have a good ride. <laughs> so we are in DuPont and we're about to go down Ro Rocky, what is this? Heading to Rocky Ridge. We're heading to Rocky Ridge. Uh, we're gonna catch that downhill. They redid Ridge Line. We're actually gonna do Hickory Mountain as well. So, uh, hey, welcome back. Looks like we got three trails. We got Rocky Ridge, um, and then we're gonna have Hickory, and then we're gonna have Ridge Line. So we're gonna let Tara and Matt go first, follow Tara down. She just got some great lessons from Caroline. This is a really, this is actually a trail that I've ridden before. This is what we would call our, uh, the bachelor ride. So being here in Pisgah, people, a lot of my friends have just got, not really a lot, but a couple out. And this is nice, fun, chill trail. Nobody's gonna get hurt kind of trail. And it's our bachelor ride. So if you've been to DuPont and you haven't ridden uh, the out and back of Stone Mountain, Stone Mountain to uh, Rocky Ridge, I think you're missing out. It's actually a really solid trail. Yeah. I gotta give some props to old Caroline's lesson here with Tara. Her uh, body position is incredibly improved from last time we've ridden together. Um, it's really cool. Really cool to see your friends progress. And I think everybody should get a coach. She's a well, well-known female coach in the area. Um, she's coached a lot of people. She's super nice. Her husband's super nice. So, hey, Caroline, nice work with Tara. Um, oh, snap. <laughs> Really? Nice trail. Rocky Ridge, Rocky Ridge, Rocky, 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 Rocky Ridge. Oh, oh. You can't tell how I went off that, but I went total about six inches off of that. Pretty rad. Ooh. Yeah. Push that rear heel down, Tara. Yeah. The rear heel. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, though it's, it's funny when you ride behind so you can see a lot of things and like the rear heel down really help you steer with your hips rear heel down boom what it does is it helps you push with that foot a good bit and it just feels a little bit more natural like compared to like dancing uh you're using your hips to do stuff with the bike rather than just your arms and steering i usually keep the uh, bars pretty straight and tilt the bike boom Tara, what kind of socks are those? What? what kind of socks are those? These are oh, those are knee warmers, not socks. Oh, they look bunched up. I thought you were wearing knee-high socks. Yeah, but socks are yeah. <laughs> so. Ooh, nice. Nice. Oh, oh, look at this. Whee! Ooh, just more and more of this trail.
I love having the leaves down. It's just enough on the trail where it's not damaging it and it's beautiful. The momentum of the wind is pushing it to the side for a lot of the trails. There you go. That would have been a nice high line. Pretty cool trail. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Beautiful day. It was cold when we first got here this morning. We were uh, I was definitely wearing a long sleeve jersey. Now I'm down to my middle of town cycling jersey pretty nice fitted race jersey but it wicks the sweat really well again shameless plug if you guys uh are listening in the video right now if you use uh steady spin 15 as a discount code you're gonna be entered into a special invitation trip that we got coming up so i don't want to spoil that too much so even if you buy something small if you need something just go ahead and use that discount code and you're going to be entered into the invitations for a special event. It's gonna be great. Oh, and that is Rocky Ridge. Nice riding, Tara, nice improvement. Well, now we're at the top of the Hickory Climb. We followed Tara down Rocky Ridge. Now we're gonna follow Matt down Hickory and we're actually gonna do it clockwise and I usually do it counterclockwise. I believe there's a trail step down behind here. I'm gonna try to stay close to Matt nail it and the rest of it's a little bit of high speed flow so um buckle up pedal a little harder and don't touch the brakes well i feel like i uh i'm gonna try this uh try to do this uh i'm gonna be a youtuber make a video thing again see how it goes i've been practicing i'm only about 200 videos in i don't quite have it dialed yet but that's why you guys are here to have a good time let's uh let's follow matt down this dun, 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 I believe special our mats on a specialized stump jumper Evo. Is that right? I'm gonna give him a little bit of a gap there. There's that trail double. Yep, that's cool. Somewhere on the up, somewhere on the down right away. I know it's not the right way to do things, but I believe the down rider should have the right away. Uh, you do all this work for the downhill. Might as well respect each other and let the other person enjoy it. Loving these Maxis ass the guy tires still. As soon as I started using it, I really have never even thought about using something else after that. Fine, a little open.
I think we were trying to jump that rock one day. Oh, I think the only time I've ever rode this way was with actually with Seth for filming a long time ago. Oh, thanks, man. Keep the momentum. Boom. Come in. <laughs> so down in the comments below. What do you guys think? I really do feel like the downhill rider should have the the right away of some sort. I know people are gonna squawk and squawk and squawk, but like none of us are out here doing the climb if we wouldn't get the descent. The descent is the is what you want. So I will always give the downhill rider right away. And whoop, that is Hickory Mountain loop. Trace the downhill of it, and now we're headed over to Ridgeline. Trail alert. Proceed with caution. Changes have been made to this trail to enhance user experience and improve sustainability. Be safe. Proceed responsibly. Thank you. No huh? No brakes. Pedal a little harder and don't hit the brakes. Let's see what happens. <sighs> All right. You guys still okay? I'm gonna go ahead and Matt's up here. I've redone some of this, but I feel like it's uh... You should get a little loose there, bud.
Oh shit! Definitely made that section way safer. That was the section that had all those trees <laughs> that were just too close for the speed you had. And that's Ridgeline. I think they made that reroute a lot safer. Carried your speed a good bit better. That was good. Scary slides a couple times though. Oh, for sure. One time I tried to get on the inside of you and know, I braked and the whole bike was like, and I was like, oh, that's not good. I had a couple two-wheel drift. So just getting back, um, about to snag some footage and work on this video. It's Saturday. That means today is Sunday and I'm making this video right now. Um, we're heading in the house to get a little, uh, coupled married time for a second. Then I'm gonna hop on this video. So I'm definitely trying to crank out the content for you guys. Thanks for checking it out. Thanks for, uh, watching, commenting, all that kind of jazz. And, uh, stay tuned for next week. Cause we'll be having a ride along with, uh, old Simi Cindy. So see you around.